Obama won. Na 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 na. <laughs> so guess what? Obama won the presidential race. Thank God we don't need McLean. I mean, sorry, McCain. So a very good friend of mine from work gave me a message from some nut. I mean, constantly a nut. Okay. She got it from MySpace, and this woman is going off about, don't be coming bitching about this, that, and the other when, you know, after a year when Obama takes office, because this, this, and this, 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 and this. It's just, you know what? Shut up! You're a jealous Republican because the Democrats won the office, which was pretty much stolen from us the first term of G.W. Bush. I won't go there because Obama won by a landslide, not only in the electoral college votes, but popular votes. Get over it! <laughs> Anyways, this message pretty much just, I don't know, it was more or less a, I don't know, it just, ugh, I don't know, I'm speechless. It just irked me when I read it. I'll calm down and you'll see another big flash with a new setting, I'm sure. Back to this email. I don't even think I've even talked about this email slash... I don't even know what it is. It's a bulletin on MySpace. Anyways, this woman was complaining about how he stands on abortions. Okay, my thing on abortions is the woman has a choice regardless. I, it, it's just a touchy subject. I mean, if it's almost full term, I mean, it, yeah, like I said, it's a, it's a touchy subject, and I don't want to tick anybody off about my stance on it, but, you know, as President of the United States, he's not going to do anything to harm this country like G. G.W. Bush did. I'm sorry. No. Just because he's the first black president of the United States of America doesn't mean squat besides that we that we voted in the first black American president. Okay. Just get over it. Get over it, you whiny little Republicans. You Republicans have destroyed this country. To be honest, the Republicans can go to other countries like I've read reports on. Do it! This country will be better off without you. Honestly, I don't give two shits. Ooh. I read this report today on the internet before I even started making this video about people giving Michelle Obama slack about her outfit at the victory speech. Sorry if I sound pretty pathetic here. I don't even know the word for it, but... I'm sure the slack that they gave her came from a Republican. A party pooper. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh. A Democratic president in office. Wow. Get over it. I'm split party. I vote Republican or Democrat. Whoever I believe is best fit for the office, I vote for. And frankly, this election, I voted straight Democrat because the Republicans have turned this country upside down and look where we're at. We're in one big mess. Two, I repeat, two unnecessary wars and one shitty ass economy. Period. Another thing on this bulletin from MySpace was he was a communist or a socialist. You know what? People, get over it. I'm independent. I vote for whoever I see fit. And, yeah, I'm, yeah, that's kind of a touchy subject. But anyways, I used to live in Arizona and McCain was full of promises. Promises that he never kept. Why do you think I left Arizona? Well, there was more than one reason, but 
He was one of the main reasons, put it that way. I won't even go into details except that he made promises he never kept. Let's give Obama a chance. On another note, and I'm not proud of it, but I am. My stepdad tends to be racist. And I mean he calls African Americans, Mexicans, every other race besides white or Caucasian. Every name in the book. I mean every name in the book. But guess what? He voted Obama because he's seen how ugh, how McCain just lied through his teeth. But on a happier note, it was great, great to see Sarah Palin with a frown because she didn't win. Oh, I'm sorry, you little tramp. <laughs> if you ever run for president, you ain't getting my vote because you don't even have the experience. And people are giving Obama slack for his inexperience? Okay, then how did he just unite more than, I don't even know how many millions, tens of millions of Americans to vote for him? How did he do it? Because people trust him and believe in him. Sarah Palin, I'm sorry you little wench. But, um, you ain't shit, and you'll never be shit. Except a governor of Alaska, if I have anything to do with it. Because I'll never, never vote for you. I don't care if you ran against Hillary Clinton. I'd vote for Hillary Clinton. Because, uh, frankly, she has a smarter head. Smarter head. Wow, it's really late. Anyways... Um, she just got to she just knows how to get things done. You, unfortunately, no. And calling John McCain a maverick? <laughs> Don't think so. But that's my input on this election. Godspeed, and guess what? This country is headed in the right direction for once. For once it's headed in the right direction. After eight years of going down the shit tube, this country is headed in the right direction. And guess what, people? It's time for change.